It's TK Friday, and today I'm excited to be working with the new TK9 plugin for Photoshop. I'm calling this one Exploring New Possibilities, Balance and Contrast. We're going to look at all the different ways we could start out our edits with Balance and Contrast. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TK Friday. Well, it's finally here, TK9 the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. And today, I do want to show you some different possibilities for starting your edits out with balance and contrast. Now, you know, I always love to start my images out with balance and contrast. This video will also introduce you to the new Blendif features in the TK9 plugin for Photoshop, as well as the new mass calculator found in the TK9 combo and CX panels. So, I'll be introducing you to those new features, but we're going to look at all kind of different ways we can do balance and contrast. As we all know, there's many ways of getting the same thing done in Photoshop, and let's do some exploring today. Also, next Wednesday, I'll be doing my TK9 favorite features video. I was going to do it today, but I decided to wait till next week, so that'll be a special midweek TK edition. And don't forget, right now, up until August 31st, 2023, DK15, my promo code, will get you 25% off site-wide on Tony Kuiper's web store. That's training videos. That's the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. Don't miss out on that. And when you use my promo code, I make a small commission, and that really helps me to keep these TK Friday videos coming your way. My affiliate link is right below in the description. Click on that link and it'll take you to the Tony Kuiper web store. And also, while you're there, check out Sean Bagshaw's new button-by-button -button video. It'll get you up and running, up to speed with the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. I highly recommend it. I've watched it a couple times already and I've learned so much. So definitely pick that up. It'll be money well spent. It's over seven hours broken up into bite-sized pieces. So you can just watch certain sections at a time. It's a great reference for all things TK9. Well, let's get started. By the way, you're watching The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and thank you for being with me here today. Well, let's get started with some balance and contrast possibilities. Let's start off basic stuff that I always have done with my TK8 tutorials. We'll start out there, and then we'll work up. And then you can find a method that you like the best and maybe utilize that one. So you've got a lot of different possibilities to explore. Today, I'll just be using a stock image. But let me show you how I normally set up my balance and contrast. Usually, I'll come up to the multi-mask panel and I'll click on this luminosity mask button. But you'll notice that the new TK9 multi-mask panel looks pretty similar to TK8. So it's going to be easy to get used to. But there's differences here. So what I'm going to do is click on the luminosity mask button. And what I do is click on midtones three. Now, the only reason I do that, it protects the darkest shadows and the lightest highlights from clipping. So I'm just using it for protection. And then I output it to a color grading tool. So that's my first possibility, the way I've always done it. But now with TK9, we have a lot of new possibilities. And I want to show as many as I can to you, as many as I thought of. There may be some more, but then you could pick the one you like the best. But then usually what I'll do is I'll maybe start out with midtones, maybe lighten up my midtones a little bit, and maybe go to shadows, darken up the shadows a little bit, go to highlights and work in the highlights. I can lighten the highlights or I can darken the highlights, whatever I need to do. And then we have this color grading wheel here that we can go ahead. And if I want to go back to, say, like the midtones, I'll click on that midtones block, and then I'll give it a little bit of uh, warmth and all you do is move your cursor over to an area you hover and just give it a click it's pinpoint accuracy so that would warm them up or if i want them to go more red i can go over this way or you know i can go into blues you can click anywhere you want but you know i do it somewhere around here now this is not about editing today it's really how to set up this panel for this balance and contrast adjustment so that's one way I'm going to go ahead and delete this, but you'll notice I have a layer here. It says color grading TK, and you'll notice I have that mid three mask on it. Now, by the way, you can double click and rename these layers. Now, the only thing is you got to make sure you have this TK in parentheses. You have to have that as part of the name. So I could come here and just put uh, like BC for balance and contrast, but I have TK in parentheses. 
So that's how the panel knows that this is a color grading layer. So that's kind of important. And this TK can be in the front as a prefix or a suffix. It doesn't matter, but it has to be there. So I'm on this layer and I can just click my trash can on my combo panel right like that and it's gone. Now you'll notice on my CX panel, I have it open to the mass calculator. I'm gonna click X here and you'll find that mass calculator right here. And you'll also find it on the combo panel right here. So you can open either one of these up. And you'll notice I have three channels saved in here right now. I'm gonna get rid of these because I'm gonna make these later because I'll need these again, but I wanna show you how to make them. But to get rid of them in this mass calculator, just click on the name like MIDS3 and click the trash can and that goes away. And you notice that that panel closed and I'll show you a little tip right now. If you command click on this mass calculator, it'll stay open. So now I can click on sky, it's highlighted in green, click the trash and it goes away and click on foreground, I'll click on the trash can. And now once all the channels are gone, the panel will close automatically. The balance and contrast I have just done was called a global balance and contrast, meaning it's doing the entire image. I'll do another one coming up where I just do the sky separate from the foreground. But now let me show you another way, now that we have the new blend if built right into TK9. Blend if, did you ever think we'd see it? But we got it now, this is really cool. Let me click the X just to close out the mass calculator. And you're gonna find blend if right here. Now this is a special blend if, I'm gonna click it. And it looks kind of like a luminosity mask generator. It has lights one up to light six, darks one down to dark six, and it has midtones one, two, and three. And it has zones one, two, three, four, and five, which is pretty cool. We'll be exploring all this in future TK9, TK Fridays. But anyway, this generates a mask from blend if. So if I want midtones three, I click on the midtones three button. And there you can see midtones three. Now it's gonna look a little different. It's gonna have a lot more contrast to it. So it's not gonna be quite the same as the luminosity mask. It has a lot more contrast. Now, you know, for this uh, opening balance and contrast adjustment, it may, it may be better. It may not be as good. I'm not sure the verdict's not out on that yet. As I discover that, I'll let you know what I think. And, uh, but we'll just take it from there. But I'm just showing you the possibilities here. But there is the mask. And now all I have to do is click on the color grading tool to output it and it'll send it as a mask there. Now, by the way, if you hold your shift key down and click on this, it'll just put it on a blend if layer, which is pretty cool. We'll be working with that a little bit later, but for now I want it to go down as a mask. So I'll just click on this color grading tool and there you can see there's that mask. And then I can just come here and click on the midtone button and work on my midtones, like lighten the midtones up, you know, come to the shadow block, uh, darken up the shadows a little bit and then I could come to highlights and work with those maybe pull those back and of course I can go back to midtones and do the color grading so it's going to work very similar so it's pretty cool so for now I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one so that's another possibility so I'll click the trash can let's go on to the next possibility I went ahead and reset everything here's the third possibility what we're going to do is click on the color grading tool to add a color grading layer right here. We're gonna X out of here. This time we're gonna use another blend if, but this is for layer blend if, so we're gonna click on that. We're gonna click on Midtones 3. I'll always be using Midtones 3. And now we can X out of here. And you can see right here, there's blend if. If I double click, you can see there's the blend if midtone adjustment. I'll just click cancel here. And now let's reactivate the color grading tool by clicking this button. And then again, I can go to midtones and maybe lighten up the midtones a little bit, go to shadows, maybe pull the shadows back a little bit like that and click on the highlight button and maybe open up the highlights just a little bit. And just like that, that is another method. Again, I reset everything. Now this next method, we could have done this on the uh, TKA plugin for Photoshop, but I never thought of it at the time. But what we're gonna do this time is get another color grading tool by clicking on it. Now we're gonna X out of it because I need to get to the layer mask mode button. So I'm gonna click that and simply click on midtones three. Everything's midtones three in a balance and contrast adjustment. Now we can X out of here because we got our mask right there on our layer. And then again, it's a simple matter of reactivating the color grading tool by clicking on this button. And again, midtones, again, we can lighten the midtones. 
We can go to shadows, darken the shadows. We can work on highlights if we want to. We can go back to midtones and maybe color grade, grade them a little bit more towards yellowish green like that. Okay, so that's another global way. Now I'm done with global. Next, we're going to move into working with the sky and the foreground separately. But first, we're going to set ourselves up for success. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Now, what I want to do is save out a sky and a foreground channel, and I'll also save out a midtones three channel because I'll be using that later. But normally it was always just a sky and a foreground, but things have changed a little bit in TK9, and these are the new methods, and I'll need a midtones three later. But let me show you how I do it like the old fashioned way, and then I'll show you a new improved way thanks to TK9. So the first thing I need is a sky channel saved out, so I'll click on this button on the combo panel to select the sky, or you could use this button right here on the CX panel. And there's my sky selection. You can tell by the selection indicators and the marching ants over here. And then all you do is click this button, just like on TK8, and we'll call this sky. And click OK, and now you can see there's my sky channel. And now I can click this button to invert it, and click that same button here to save it out, and I'll just call this FG for foreground and click OK. And there it is. Now, I'm going to show you a new improved way of doing this. So for now, I want to delete these two channels. So if you click this button right here, you can delete all your channels at one time, all your alpha channels. And now I'm going to go ahead and click this button to deselect. And now for the new TK9 method, hold your command or control key down and click on sky. And just like that, you save the sky channel. It's already named for you. That's fast, right? Now to save out a foreground channel hold your commander control key down and double click this and now you got a foreground isn't that simple if you get a message that comes up here and i think it says are you sure you want to overwrite the old selection just click on don't show again and then when you double click the sky button it'll work just like you saw it work here in the video i want to make one more channel and that is a mids three so we're going to come up here and click on the luminosity mass button and click on the midtones three button Click this button to save as a channel, and we'll just call this one MIDS3, and we'll click OK. And now you'll see there's a MIDS3 down there. So there's all the channels that I want. And now we can just X out of here. And now let's work with sky and foreground. Now here's the old school way for working with foreground and sky separately. What I'll do is come up here to my channels. I'll click on sky. We'll do the sky first. Click on the mass calculator. Click X to intersect. Now here's a little change. We don't have to X out of the selection here. We can go right to the luminosity mask button and click on midtones three. Click equal to make that calculation. I'll put it to a color grading tool. And then let's go to midtones. I'll click the midtone button and I'll just darken up the midtones in the sky and maybe open up the highlights a little bit. Again, I'm not worried about the edit here. I'm just showing you all the different possibilities for different ways we can do balance and contrast adjustments. And now we'll X out of the color grading tool. I'll come back to my channels, and this time I want the foreground, so click in the foreground. Click on the mass calculator X to get an intersection. Click on the luminosity mass button. Again, midtones three, very easy. Click equal to make the calculation. I'll put it to a color grading tool and then simply adjust any one of these shadows, midtones, or highlights. I'll do, I'll just do midtones. I clicked on the midtone block and I'll just pull back on the midtones. And you can see that's just pulling the midtones back. And now we do have a new button here on the combo panel for before and after. You'll notice on the my actions panel, I took my before after action off because we got it right here. We all have it. Everybody has TK9. Click this button and you can see the before and after. So that is pretty cool. And now for the next method, this one will involve the blend if mask generation button. So we'll go to my channels. We'll start with the sky, click on sky, click on the mask calculator, X for an intersection. But this time we're going to click on the blend if mass generation button. We're going to click on midtones three. It's always going to be midtones three. Remember, it just protects shadows and highlights from clipping. We have to click equal to make that calculation. And there's our sky. And I'll put it to a color grading tool. And again, let's just go to midtones. I'll just show you. I'll pull back in the midtones. And you can see the sky gets a little darker. And then you can work with highlights and color grade. Do whatever you want. But that is the sky. 
Now let's go to the foreground. Now right now the color grading tool's in the way, so click the X, nothing changes here. Let's go back to my channels. This time we'll click on foreground, click the mass calculator button, X for an intersection. Click on blend diff again, click on midtones three, click equal to make the calculation, and now I'll put to a color grading tool, and I'll just go and click on the midtone button, and we'll darken up the midtones a little bit, and I'll click on shadows, let's darken up the shadows a little bit, go back to midtones, and color grade it a little more towards greenish yellow like that. And here's the overall before and after. I know that's a horrible edit, but again, I'm just showing you the balance and contrast possibilities. The next possibility involves the regular layer blend diff. So we're gonna click on the color grading tool. We'll X out of the color grading tool, click on this blend diff button found in the output section for layer blend diff. We're gonna click on midtones three again. Now we can click X because if I double click right here, see the, the symbol here? which lets us know we're using blend diff. So if I double click it, you can see there's the blend diff adjustment right there for midtones. I'm just gonna click cancel. Now for the next step, we need to use some mass calculations and we're gonna utilize the mass calculator on the combo or the CX panel, whichever you prefer. Now remember the trick, hold your command or control key down and click on the mass calculator. That'll keep it open. Now, this is so simple. All you have to do, we're gonna do sky first. So we'll click on sky. Now we can either use intersect, that's the X, or this button to apply that sky right to the uh, layer mask. Either one will work. Let's use this one to apply it. And you can see we're only selecting the sky here, but the blend diff is controlling midtones three. So that's pretty neat. And now all we need to do is make our color grading tool active again. And again, I'll click on midtones and I'll get similar results again. I'll just pull back on the midtones and you can see the sky is getting darker. And of course, I could color grade or do whatever I want and work with highlights and shadows, whatever I want to do. But that's all I'm going to do here. And now we need to get another color grading tool. So what you need to do is click this plus right here to add another color grading tool. X out of the color grading tool. Click on this blend diff button again. Click on midtones three. We can X out of here. And now we want to apply the foreground to here, the foreground channel. So click on foreground. And remember, we can choose intersect or apply directly. Let's use intersect this time. We'll get the same result right there. And again, come back up to the color grading tool and we'll click on midtones. This time, let's give a little bit more lightness to the midtones. I'll drag this slider to the right. I'll click on shadows and we'll darken up our shadows to add some contrast. And now we can see the overall before and after. Now, right now, my mask calculator is still open, but I can click on X to close it. Or if you have your CX panel open, you can see a before and after here. I'm just going to use this one. Here's the before and the after. Now on to the next method. For this method, I'm going to use layer mask mode. So we're going to come up and click on the color grading tool button, get a color grading tool. Now we can X out of here because we need to get to the multi mask panel and we're going to go into layer mask mode by clicking this button. We want midtones three and there's the mask on that layer. We can X out of here. We don't need this anymore. Now we can open up our mask calculator again. Now remember the trick commander control to keep it open. The mask calculator I'm talking about. I'm holding my command key down and clicking here because I'm working on a Mac control for a PC. Now, I want to start with the sky. I have two options. I can either click on foreground and click subtract to subtract the foreground, and that would leave me with the sky, or else I can click on sky and click intersect. And now you see I have the sky. And now it's simply a matter of coming up and clicking on the color grading tool button. And again, we can click on midtones, and let's just pull back on the midtones and get that adjustment, okay, just like that. We can color grade it if I come here into the blue. So just like that, that's a sky. Now let's work on the foreground. Now we need another color grading tool, so let's click the plus, let's click the X, click the layer mask mode button again, click on midtones three, and there you can see it right there. X out of here, and go back to your mask calculator. Now right now sky is selected, I can subtract it, or I could go to foreground and intersect it, but this time let's go to sky and we'll subtract it. And now you see, I just have the foreground. And now it's a simple matter of clicking on the 
color grading tool button again and now I'll click on midtones and I'll lighten up my midtones a little bit click on shadows and darken them down just so you can see that we can make these adjustments and we could color grade or whatever so that is that method here's the foreground layer here's before and after here's the sky layer before and after and here is the overall I'll click on this button on my CX panel for before and after the entire before after and now on to the next method this method utilizes luminosity masks along with either the combo or the CX mask calculators now right now I have the mask calculator shut now remember the tip to keep the mask calculator to stay open command or control click on the mask calculator on either the combo or the CX panel and it'll stay open very important then simply click on the luminosity mask button click on midtones 3 I'll put that to a color grading tool by clicking on the color grading tool button and there you can see that Midtones 3 mask right there on that color grading tool. And now with the mask calculator, we'll start with the sky. So if I click on sky, I can intersect it with that mask. Very simple. Or I could have chose foreground and subtracted it. Either way, it will work. So let's go ahead and intersect it. And there you can see the sky. And again, very simple. Let's do midtones. I'll click the midtone button and we'll just darken up the midtones. I'll take the slider and drag it to the left to darken them up. And of course, let's color grade it a little bit more towards blue. There you go. And now let's do the foreground. Now, right now, the color grading tool is in the way, so click on the X to get rid of that, but nothing changes here on the sky. Click on the luminosity mask button again. Click on midtones three. I'll put that to a color grading tool. And now click on foreground, or if you have sky selected, you could simply subtract it or click on foreground and intersect it. In this case, I already have sky selected, so I'll click subtract. And now there's my foreground. And now simply let's do midtones. I'll click on the midtone button. We'll darken up the midtones. And now let's lighten them up. Let's lighten them up a little bit. Let's click on shadows and darken up the shadows a bit. Let's color grade the midtones. Click on the midtone button and let's just favor that a little bit yellowish green for color grade. I'll click right here and like that. Here's before the foreground adjustment. Here's after. Here's before the sky adjustment. Here's after. And on the CX panel, I'll click the before after button. Here's the overall before and the overall after. Now let's go on to the next method and we're almost done. This time it's going to be a blend if mask generated mask using the combo or CX mask calculator. So we're going to click this button right here for blend if mask generation. Click on midtones three. Click on the color grading tool button. Command or control click the mask calculator on the combo or CX panel. I'll start with the sky. So let's click on sky and I can intersect it with that mask or click on foreground and subtract it from that mask. I'm on sky, so I'll intersect it and there it is. And again, all you have to do is click on midtone shadows or highlights. We'll do midtones, pull the midtones back just like that. And now let's work on the foreground. So we need to X out of the color grading tool. Nothing again changes here. We're going to click on the blend if mask generation button again, click on midtones three. I'll put it to a color grading tool. The mask calculator is still opened. Now I'm on sky so I can subtract the sky or I can click on foreground and intersect it. So I'm on sky. Let's just subtract it. And now I have the foreground. And again, it's just a simple matter of I'll start with midtones, click on midtones, lighten up the midtones, drag this brightness slider over a little bit, click on shadows, darken it up a little bit. This time, let's favor a little more yellowish red for the color grade. So let's go back to the midtone button and click it. And I'll click right about here. Okay, and that just warms it up a little bit. Here's before and after on the foreground. Here's before and after on the sky. And here's the overall before and after. I'm using the CX panel, the before after button. Click it. There's before and there's after. Now I have one last method. I'm going to start this one from scratch. And I think this is my favorite method and I saved it for last. But if you stuck with me the whole way through this video, you've learned a lot about mass calculation, a lot about 
Blendif, and there's so much more to learn about Blendif. We're only scratching the surface. Let's just pretend this is a raw file and I'm starting from scratch and I would set myself up for success. So this would be kind of a workflow for doing a balance and contrast with my favorite method. So the first thing I'm going to do is save out a sky channel. So I'm going to hold my command key down or control key down and click on the sky and that'll select the sky and give me a channel called sky. Now I'm going to hold the command or control click down again and double click sky and that will give me foreground. And then I'm going to come up and click on the luminosity mask button. And this time I will do a midtones three. So click on midtones three and I'll save that as a channel and I'll just call it mids three and click OK. So now I have sky foreground mids three. I set myself up for success. I can X out of here. And now I need a color grading tool. So click on the color grading button. There's my color grading tool. I'm going to go ahead and rename this one sky. So I'm just going to highlight color grading and call it sky. S-K-Y. Leaving that T-K on there. Very important. So the panel can recognize this as a color grading tool. Now I need another color grading tool for the foreground. So the color grading tool is open. Just click the plus. And I'm going to double click this and just highlight color grading and call this. I'm just going to do FG for foreground, okay? And make sure you have the TK in parentheses there. Very important again. And now for the mask calculator. Command or control click on either the CX or combo panel mask calculator button. So I'm going to command click this because I'm on a Mac. Control for a PC. And now I want mids three. And I'm going to click this button right here to apply that to that foreground color grading layer. You see that? And now the calculator stays open. And now click on foreground and intersect it. So click on the X. And now you see the foreground right there. That's pretty cool, right? And now for balance and contrast, I'll click on the midtones button. And we're going to lighten up the midtones a little bit. Let's go to shadows. We'll darken up our shadows. Click on highlights and we'll add a little bit of highlight in here. And I'll go back to the midtones by clicking the midtone button and I'll just warm this up a little bit. I'll move my cursor right here and give it a click. Okay, so here's the before and here's the after. And now what I want you to do is click on the sky layer. So click the sky layer on. That's the active layer and the calculator is still open. Click on mids three. Click this button to apply it. There's your mids three mask. Click on sky and intersect the sky. And there you go. And now you can do your balance and contrast and color grading adjustments. So come back up to the color grading tool. I'll do midtones again. I'll click on midtones and pull back on the midtones to darken them up. I'll uh, also click right around here, hover my cur cursor here. And that's in the blues and add a little bit of blue there. And then I'll go to highlights and maybe open up the highlights just a little wee bit like that. So here's the before and after on the sky. Here's the before and after on the foreground. And here's the overall before and after. I'm using the CX panel, the before after button. Here's the overall before and the overall after. And I think that is my favorite way of doing the balance and contrast. I'm not 100% sure I'll keep experimenting, but in the meantime, watch this video maybe a couple times and figure out which method you like the best. And then in the comments section below the video, let me know about it. Let me know what your favorite method is. And I think you'll learn a lot if you go through all these different methods and try them out. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on balance and contrast and all these different possibilities. And hopefully you will come up with your favorite and then let me know about it in the comments section below. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and spread the word. Share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me this day on the joy of editing with Dave Cully. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.